Today's video is all about paraphrasing CSV files in bulk using Python and TextCortex API. If you're working with large amounts of data, you might find yourself in a situation where you need to paraphrase a lot of text quickly and efficiently. That's where TextCortex API comes in handy. We will be using Python to automate the process of paraphrasing CSV files, making it a breeze to paraphrase hundreds or thousands of lines of text in just minutes. Hey everyone, it's Jay here, co-founder of TextCortex AI, one of the top 200 AI companies in Europe with thousands of active users daily, helping people to write and code better. By using TextCortex API, we can ensure that our paraphrase text retains its original meaning while being unique and original. So let's jump into it, huh? So here we go. Um, this is the GitHub repository, the sample code uh, that I've included in the YouTube description. Uh, just download it and then afterwards what you need to do is pretty straightforward uh, to be able to make a request to the TextCortex API. The first thing that you need to do is of course register on the platform and then get your API key. After getting your API key, what you need to do is uh, put it here. Just copy paste it and then it will start magically working. Um, and the other stuff is uh, very straightforward. Uh, so I added a CSV file uh, from um, Amazon. It is called foodreviews.csv. Uh, this is actually taken from Kaggle. It was one of the open source data sets that I found and it is about some reviews about some food. <laughs> I don't exactly know what kind of foods are about that but one of them I can see is arrived saying jumbo salted peanuts. Okay, interesting. Um, so what we are going to do is we are going to take these reviews uh, first thing. We are going to extract them out of the CSV file and how we are going to do it. We are going to read it uh, with the read CSV function and then afterwards put it into a list uh, so that later on we can actually uh, hop onto this uh, list different items and then paraphrase it individually and then write it into another uh, file. So that's what we are going to do. Uh, pretty straightforward. Again, the next step is going to be after extracting this data uh, we are going to generate the paraphrases and how we are going to do that. And of course, this is the, the magic of TextCortex API. So what you do is um, you post a request uh, to our API and then it will respond with uh, a paraphrase response back to you. As you can see uh, here, there is something called file name. So you can set the file name as however you want to. I'm setting this up called paraphrase reviews.csv. Um, and then afterwards, uh, what we are going to do is, the, from the reading the CSV file, first we are going to take them in, and then afterwards um, make a request uh, one by one by using this uh, for loop. So inside this for loop, we are going to check out this list, and then at the, each loop we are going to take one and then paraphrase it and write it into a file and do the same thing again until the list is completely uh, exhausted and completely used. Um, when I run this, you're going to see that this is going to create another file with this name here, paraphrase reviews.csv, and basically that's it. So it will just work. Um, what else? Is there anything else that I need to tell you about? No, that is basically all. So run this script, and then first thing that it shows you, the list. So it's the, the list that is uh, out of the CSV file. And then afterwards you see that this is the first paraphrase text, this is the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. And then now we see another file here. It's called paraphrase reviews.csv. So it is the paraphrase reviews that is put into a CSV file that you can use for whatever your use case is. If you look into it, uh, you will see there is two actually lines of text. The first one is the R paraphrase uh, version. It's called, the product was labeled as Jumbo Salted Peanuts, yet the peanuts that arrived were actually small and not salted, blah, blah. And the original one is, product arrived labeled as Jumbo Salted Peanuts, the peanuts were actually small sized and unsalted. So as you can see, it is conveying the same information, but it's slightly different. So that is a cool thing about it. Um, basically, that's it. And not so many other things needs to be added after that one. So if you would like to have your own data, um, you just need to upload it here and then afterwards change the CSV file name here. Uh, instead of foodreviews.csv, change it to my XYZ. Uh, and also you need to add it to the same folder as you can see here. Um, and the next thing that you need to do is the output file format. You can have it as a CSV or just a text file. Uh, I prefer to have it a CSV, but it's up to you. 
uh, you can also change the name here instead of paraphrase review csv you can change it to my new file csv and if you run this again what it's going to do is it's going to take the original file and then uh, create paraphrases and then it's going to write it into a new one as you can see now we have a new one and you can also see that uh, these are different now so this is a confectionery item, item that has been around for many years and then this delicious dessert has been around for centuries it's a fluffy blah blah so as you can see it is already uh, changing even if I run the same script twice it is going to come up with different text uh, because the paraphraser works in a way it is trying to change in a way that it's not seen it before uh, while keeping the original meaning of course so that's it I hope you liked it. Wow, this was absolutely quicker compared to working with a human. One of the great things about using TextVortex API is that it can paraphrase a text while retaining the original meaning. This means that our paraphrased text will be unique and original while still conveying the same message as the original text. Overall, paraphrasing CSV files in bulk using Python and TextVortex API is a great way to save time and effort when working with large amount of data. With just a few lines of code, we can paraphrase hundreds or thousands of lines of text with ease. So if you are looking for a quick and efficient way to paraphrase your CSV files, be sure to give this method a try. As usual, I'm dropping the sample code in a GitHub repo. You can find the link in the description. And that's all for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos about using TextCortex API to 20x your workflow productivity. Thanks for watching.